Welcome back to Let's Play Belzebub. This episode, we're... What the hell? I didn't even hit anything. Um, this episode, we're actually going to try to get something done. Um, <laughs> it's just, my biggest problem is I feel like everything's still killing me. Like, I understand that this mod is supposed to be harder, but God, I just, I feel like everything's still wrecking me. Alright, um, let's go, yeah, let's try to get, let's try to get at least to see what 11 is like. Really, the goal is avoiding the smith. Well, that's painful. And I say that, the goal is avoiding the smith, I'm pretty sure the smith is right there. Yeah, he is. Oh, Deathwings. Okay. Hit him. Run! There's someone. Someone is shooting lightning arrows. Really, he lived. He did not live through that. This is some frickin' corner they stuck me in to start out. Oh, well, there's down to level 11. I can't cast that yet. So I noticed this guy in this, in Belzebub, he put a timer on Firewall. Which I think is really good. It was frankly too good a spell. Because of the way you could just spam it. Love that frickin' book. They're immune to cold. God, these rolls. I've gotten really unlucky with this thing ever since I picked it up. Still think it's the better weapon, but... God, some of these rolls are just killing me. Look at this. Oh my gosh. you'd be able to hit me from here. Book of Elemental, there's no way I can read that, yeah. Hang on, I'll come kill you guys, just give me a second to restock all my potions. I 
don't really want to explore this floor, but if these guys are just going to sit right here, how can I turn down killing them? I do go in here. There we go. But then I gotta stand here so that they all stay in the fire. I was gonna say, there's no way he doesn't die, right? That's just rude. Alright, let's get going down to, uh, 11. Hmm. Looks eerily similar. Oh my god, what kind of spawn is this? It's okay, I have the best spell in the game on my side. Come get me! What are they called? Blood claws. Oh god, they can open doors. Okay, well he died to that. I'm pretty sure they're easier than the other guys. I can't get there from here. Flayed ones because, of course. Oh, that was lucky how they lined up there. Get over here. Get over here. Get over. No, get over here. Thank you. Oh, that was lucky. Of course, it was trapped. Oh god, champions. The only good thing about champions is that they, they, how do I put this the right way? They do die. It's like the one good thing about champions. Get back here, get your ass back here. Wow, that is not the angle I thought it was going to go at. Not enough mana. There we go. Now everyone, please stand there. Oh gosh, Firewall has been my favorite spell in this area. The champions are immune to fire? Why? Why would you do that to me, game? Whatever. 
lightning wall exists for a reason. See? Wow, it's him murdering them. Oh my god. Berser oh, they were berserker pit beasts. Well, I'm glad they're dealt with. Oh, good. Burning stakes. Oh, it's Baron Azenther. Exactly who I wanted to fight. The Fire Eater? This dude got a name like Fire Eater? And he's throwing fireballs at me. Not enough mana. Not enough mana. Getting my ass kicked by a son of a bitch named Fire Eater. Oh God! Jesus! Those fly so far! Leave me alone, you nuisance. Is it time for the bow? Oh, it does deal damage to him. Don't I have, like, really good fire resistance? And None of these should be hitting me. I never actually thought this bow would come in handy. I just kind of threw it in here. It isn't really doing any damage, to be fair. Do you stand still for longer than two seconds? Oh my god. Look at this son of a bitch. Why the hell did it lay down like that? What the fuck? Why is it doing that? Thank you. Thank God. Jesus. Jeez. You didn't even really give me anything. Oh, actual weapon time. <laughs> Excuse me for one moment while I... Oh God, there's more of you there. forget about it because I know I will. Oh, 
I can read it. It's good. I really feel like these guys shouldn't be that hard to hit. But they are ridiculously hard to hit. I definitely hit this guy too. Let me go kill him. There we go. And this son of a bitch here. Oh, I just totally realized I have, like, no mana potions. So I should probably bail out of here. Or at least place down a town portal. Yeah. Huh. That would have been bad. Although, actually, not that bad. Because it was really close to the uh, entrance for floor one. such a weird area. It's like an uncomfortable layout. It's like, where do I go and kill people? Alright, let's bail. Gillian has a quest, apparently. Yay. What ails you, my friend? Have you heard what has been happening? Some of the men have vanished from the village. Disa's sons, Aeneas and Ruth, claim to have seen strange lights glowing deep within the woods a few days ago. But no one has heard from them since. I too have seen a crimson shimmering from beyond the ash groves, but I've been too afraid to approach it. I fear that Ogden or our healer Pepin may be next. Won't you please find out what has happened? So am I going into the woods like it? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. While the barmaid may seem a bit confused at times, it is true that men have been disappearing from the village. It reminds me of ancient writings about a demonic temptress called Andario, known as the Maiden of Anguish. Her thirst for mortal blood was so great 
that she sought to learn a spell to breach the mortal realm. By seducing one of the dark sorcerers of the netherworld, Andaril took the knowledge she needed and so began to lure mortal men into her dark corner of hell. If these legends are true, she is not a creature to be taken lightly. Wasn't that Andaril? It wasn't she in the second game? Whoa. That's so worth it. I lose I lose five hit points, I get. Nine more armor class, and I basically just swap my resistance for magic and cold. That's so worth it. It's not worth it. I am gonna... I will hold on to the, uh, the belt I was wearing, though, because it's a set piece. So we will hold on to it. <clears throat> I feel like Andariel was in the second game. I could be totally wrong about that, but... Certainly sounds familiar. I thought I could sell that. So you're saying Gillian's kind of dumb. Well, what can I do for you? <laughs> A bow that gives you plus 14 to strength. Pepin, what do you have to say? Oh, I meant to ask Griswold. Ugh. and bring them home to their family. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Farnham. Thank you, Griswold. Just weird. Over here. Well, you're costing me a thousand gold just to take a look at it now. This is restored content. I'd have to imagine it was, because I'm pretty sure Andariel made her debut in the second game. But that's where I'm going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.